Now, the first England women's squad in the post full Neville era has been announced, with interim manager Heger Risa calling up four uncapped players, but leaving out Nikita Paris and Beth Mead. Let's bring in former England international Rachel Yankee and our reporter Anton Tului. Guys, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Let's start with you, Anton. Just bring us the headlines from this squad. Clearly, the most noticeable thing is the lack of Nikita Paris. Yeah, it's interesting. Nikita Paris misses out as her club, Lyon, wouldn't release her due to French quarantine rules at the moment. But you mentioned the four debutants. We'll just go through them. Ella Toon gets a reward for her fantastic mid midfield season at Manchester United. Lotta Wood and Moy, the Arsenal defenders, also in to compete. But the goalkeepers are quite interesting as well. Hannah Hampton from Birmingham, Sandy McKeever from Everton. They join Ellie Roebuck in the goalkeeping department, meaning the average age in that position is just 21. But interestingly, Hagarisa has resisted the urge otherwise to massively shake things up, despite seven defeats in England's last 11 games. She's picked a 20-player squad made up mainly of experienced internationals. Senior players like Beth Mead and Tony Duggan miss out, but Risa says that's down to form. The most experienced of them all, though, Jill Scott, has been named in the squad. Risa confirming if fit, she will make her 150th cap for England, becoming just the second player to do so. Rachel... Tell us, were you surprised there's no Beth Mead in that squad? Um, I think it's always difficult when you get a new manager come in and obviously uh, in the situation that we, we're in, she's got to look at the players. She's, uh, she's cut the squad from what it was last time where there was a lot of players in, in Phil Neville's training camps. So somebody's got to miss out. And I think when you look at the form of probably other wingers, Chloe Kelly, uh, Lauren Hemp, uh, then maybe you put them in front of, of Beth Mead. But um, I definitely think Beth Mead's a fantastic talent. And, you know, she might not be in this camp, but she, she'll definitely be in future camps, I'm sure. And Rachel, what about the other players that she did include? Ella T we heard Anton go through them. Ella Toon, Sunny McKeever, uh, Hannah Hampton, Lottie Woman moy Do you like the look of that lineup? Yeah, I think you know she's bringing bringing younger players in. They've obviously they've been they've all been in a Phil Neville's squad before, uh, where it was a large squad, and they've been around the camp. They would have settled in and, and know what it feels like to be in that England uh, first team environment. Now, obviously, with it being a game, they they have the opportunity to to make their debut and, and to impress a new manager. So I think it's good for them. I think the goalkeepers, especially, we've got some real young, talented goalkeepers that. Um, that have all got to be fighting out against each other because they're all the same age. Um, you know, they all want that top spot. So I think that's a real competitive place for them to be in. So, um, so yeah, I look forward to, to obviously seeing the squad and it's, um, it's, it's good to have a good blend of, of the youth and experience. That's what you want to see as well, isn't it, Rachel? And, and, and Risa has said she wants to develop the player's ability, playing style and physical conditioning, all admirable motivations, of course. But how tough is that given the COVID restrictions that they're all facing at the moment? It's going to be really tough. Um, you know, I think the, the COVID restrictions won't allow much time for, for team meetings, uh, for, for any sort of gatherings inside where you where you, where you actually do your team bonding and where you get to understand and know people, um, it will just be sort of I imagine on the pitch. That's where she'll obviously um, have the largest sort of group sessions and, and get to know the players when once they're once they're off the pitch and downtime. I imagine that it would be players being on their own and and sort of left to their own devices. So. I'm sure they'll come up with different ways that they will have to do things because she doesn't know any of the players. They've got to learn and understand her, and um, I'm sure it'll be I'm sure it'll be quite difficult for her. But um, but, I'm, but hopefully an enjoyable camp for them all. Yeah, difficult time then for the interim coach Anton. You spoke with her a short time ago. What stood out? Yeah, it's interesting. Hegarita, a very different personality, a very different coach to Phil Neville. But she's kind of intimating, look, this will be an evolution, not a revolution under her. She's resisting the temptation to kind of tear things up, bring new players and start again. She wants a small group of players to work with over the next few months with the sole aim of winning gold in Tokyo. I did ask her, though, how tempting it would be to call up more of the emerging talent in the WSL. Here's what she had to say. I feel like I've been looking at many players we had uh, like a long list of players but we we wanted to narrow it down uh, to get the competitive squad to make it uh, going forward 
a real competitive going into Olympics and know the physicality, the mentality that we, we are sure that the players adapt to that and can be in the Olympics. And this is an England squad and going to Olympics is a GB with other nation player as well. So I think for all of us, this is exciting going forward as well. So it's a good squad that I'm very comfortable bringing in. So this is going to be the core group of players you're going to work with for the next few months, I'm guessing. Well, I, w- I will, of course, following uh, all, the, all the games in the league. And uh, if I see a player that we think we should bring in, we, of course, discuss that. And that might happen. It might be that next camp is one or two player extra. We don't know that. Hegarisa is saying there that obviously she wants to work with a smaller group of players. She has spoken to the ones on the peripheries that haven't made it. Her first opportunity to meet, meet to speak to most of the squad, though, will be next week when they meet up at St George's Park on Thursday. Rachel, you heard Risa saying she feels as though they have a squad strong enough to win the Olympics. What do you think? Um, it's always a difficult one because I think... Um... You know, the Olympics is is not just that England team. Uh, you know, the, the, there's some very good players from. Uh, well, obviously they'll find out from playing Northern Ireland and uh, and Wales and and Scotland that um, I'm sure will be be pushing and fighting and and doing everything that they can to to give themselves the best chance of getting into that GB squad. So. Um, It'll, it'll be tough, but um, we, we have some quality players and she's kept a school, small squad. She wants them to battle. She wants the mentality there. Um, hopefully that will bring out the best in everyone. And a word, Rachel, as well, word. on Jill Scott. Um, she should win her 150th cap against Northern Ireland if all goes well in the training camp, says Risa. Another massive milestone and a great career for her. How important is that move to Everton for her to stay in the national side? Uh, yeah, hugely important. Uh, Jill's a fantastic player. I think everybody, uh, you know, knows her talents and what she brings on and off the pitch. Um, you know, if you if you want a player to to really gel in and and make sure that young players, new players are integrated within the squad squad, there's no one better than Jill to do that. Um, you know, she's a fantastic footballer. I know people usually talk about her physical strengths, but you know, a touch on the ball, she's brilliant and. Um, Hopefully she can she can obviously train well, stay fit, and and, and get that 150 cap. But moving to Everton has, has has given her the best chance to be able to do that. She'll she'll really help their squad, I'm sure, for this season. And um, you know, I think she's got many more seasons in her. I, I think she'd tell you that herself as well. <laughs> We will see. Well, the England squad will meet up next Thursday, and we'll be following that closely. Anton, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.